Gretel here and in this video I want to talk about the types of life language. I know there is a lot of information out there in social media and you may find differences on what different love language speakers said and define a life language. I have heard about the Morian life language and Pleiadian life language and in a way they're all valid. But let's go from the beginning. What light language is? Light language is the flow of the light, the expression. When you have an intention as a transmitter or as a receiver, the light will have a wavelength that it is the light in motion that pulsate. And that light will begin to form a pattern, a pattern like this. These may come to you as a sound that said something like Mi sakorovati sakore te te esedi ara korvade idi ar esedi esna. It may flow like this with your hands. You may see, I have seen a lot of videos of people just doing the hand movement. So basically, we can say that light language comes in three forms, sound, symbology, or movement. Where does it come from? It comes from your soul, from your light, from your source. We're all from the source. As humans, we like to label who are you, where are you coming from, I'm older than you, I'm newer than you, you are toxic than me, but in reality, we're all the source. And then according to the experience of your soul, this is where I believe, we may define as Pleiadian, Starseed, more Germanic, or Elemental, or I have connections to dragons. And like language, it will come through what it is in your soul. So if you have Pleiadian lifetimes, then Pleiadian love language will come through and it may sound like But in reality, it's love language in sound, right? But if you are more connected perhaps to the uh, Lemurians, right? It may sound more like In reality, we can say that all of those are aspects of my soul. And when I do that language, I always ask my higher self to be in charge. I set the intention. No one can come unless I allow them to come. And I always know when I change from one frequency from another, because of course I practice a lot and, and then I give classes. <laughs> I have already mastered that skill. So first of all, if you would like to expand your light language, set your intentions, who can come, who cannot come, why they're going to come, how long they're going to come, and have your guide that you trust, your point of contact with the spirit realm that can serve you to set some boundaries with the spiritual world so you are more in charge of what's come through and how what's come through it's serving you. I know people that come to me and I have seen their videos for a year or two and they say, I don't know what I'm saying, but I have been doing these videos and it feels great. You don't need to know exactly what you are saying or who's coming through, but at least we have like a sense of a general translation and I will do another video about translation, translating that language. But Sometimes you will say something like, it sounds like healing, it sounds like a menstrual plexus. Sometimes people type into my uh, post, I don't know what you said on it, but I just felt it right through my third eye, which is actually possible. Everyone will get whatever you need if you are tuned into and open and ready to receive that transmission. But just to summarize, light language is the flow of the light, the expression of source. 
it may sound angelic yes it may sound galactic yes it may sound like alien yes it may sound like shamanic yes it may sound like tongues in church yes they are all variations of light language like um maybe a dress or a jacket right it's it's clothing in general but it's not the same use or chords so light language can come in sound in movement or in symbology the symbology it is actually the pattern in which the sound of the movement form the message the sound it's only the vibration that created a motion effect that um, as a consequence it created a symphony a sound that it comes to you in the best way you can sometimes i hear actually songs and i have in my goals to study music so i can translate it that but sounds of like the person whom i purchase the music normally i tell him i i want a music that that sound like this 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 and he channel what i need and and this is the music that i use for my meditations the meditations on the channel if you only do the movements it's perfectly okay too because it means that you maybe are more sensitive more empathic and this is the channel that you have opened to flow the language and the expression of your source through divine order and the highest outcome for all and basically it will come from what you are it will be uniquely even as a pleiadian from another pleiadian star seed our pleiadians may sound different because perhaps i am from maya and you are from alcyon and we resonate in the pleiadian but maybe not in the same dimension or maybe not in the same time or maybe not in the same frequency so it will come through me my pleiadian not actually pleiadius itself but humanized to my experience and therefore any other my language that comes through normally persons will have a one general energy and that general energy sound alike different things um i'll keep doing more videos sharing free content if you would like to learn more about my language and you feel drawn to what i do then subscribe and follow and if you have more questions about videos i can do would like to clarify share your experience maybe add more into what i could express and in that way we can all connect grow and learn together thank you so much for the support see you guys in the next video bye bye